Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for a magician who's worked in the United States, Mexico, and Canada, whose credits include Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter the Adequate. Defining success in magic is really, really tough. There's so many unexpecteds. You know, you could have said something. Twice now in my life, I've had somebody steal my show. Literally. Somebody actually break into my van and steal my show. I've been lucky in the sense that most of the magic that I do is not a lot of very expensive manufactured props just for magicians. My very first outdoor show in Austin was at Zilker Park, and uh, my opening trick, I set one of the trees on fire by mistake. I've had uh, a dove die on me in the middle of a show. This is the kind of thing that can go wrong too. I've been doing this sometimes before a show, and I'm getting a shoe polish all over my hand when you're doing close-up magic. That's not good, because as I discovered, shoe polish doesn't come off easy. So, but you think that having learned that, I'd be to be clever and like put a sock in my hand or something like that. No, I just want to be a little bit more careful. I do a lot of um, mental rehearsing where I run through every routine. So when you saw me setting stuff up and everything else, I was actually going through each routine in my mind, uh, literally visualizing the whole routine from beginning to end as I lay it out. Uh, and then I'll do that just before the show. I'll do the same thing all over again. I'll look at the entire script and go through each step preparing it. And then the last thing I do is just some physical and vocal exercises. I always tell people at first that I used to go under the name of Peter the Great, but my friends have seen my act, so I, I had to change it. And that's how I came up with Peter the Adequate. But that's really not the case. Little more, little more, little more. When I say three, you pull that way, you pull that way. Ready? One, two, three, pull. One team is supposed to win. <laughs> Show off. Okay, let go, let go, let go, let go. Let go. Show off. My magic is all about a psychological play between me and the audience. Oh, silly me, it's the masks. You all have different masks. You're a little rabbit, you're a little cat, and you're... <laughs> and you're a little pig, okay! To me, magic is so much more than that. Magic should be all about the experience. The other end right over there, and watch very closely as I do something that very few magicians in the world know how to do. Only about maybe three, four million. Watch as I turn two ropes back into one by magic. Do you like that? <laughs> when I first seriously decided to go into magic full time, I was about 30 years old, and I knew instantly that whatever name you came up with would have some effect on the character that you presented on stage. This is actually a little dog, a little French poodle. His name is Pierre. Do you know why his name is Pierre? He's a balloon, that's all he can do. <laughs> so I tried going with comedy of Peter the Terrible. Was that your card? Really? Again, it was putting myself down too much. So I played with Peter the okay, Peter the so-so. You don't look very impressed, Linda. You don't like the knot there, do you? Would you rather have it over there? How about if I let you keep the knot and... Uh... When I stumbled across, as I was playing with those different options, I came up with Peter the Adequate. Looked it up in the dictionary and saw that adequate means suitable to the occasion, which is exactly what I was striving to be at the time, was to be able to do the right thing for the right moment everywhere I performed. Here's what I want you to do. When I say three, I want you to pitch the entire deck of cards underhanded right into my empty hands. Are you ready? One, two, three. Your card. Give him a big round of applause. I always like it when you did that trick. Thanks. Test, one, two, one, two. This is a test, this is a test. When I was a little boy, I wanted to do magic very, very, very badly. One, two, three, test. This is a test, one, two. What makes you successful in magic is meeting your goals. If you 
really want to be successful, being likable is far more important than anything else. I've spent the last 15 years trying to be A, the most likable person I could possibly be, and B, learning how to translate that onto the stage, and recognizing the fact that I will always be a second best somebody else, but nobody can ever be as good at me as I can. Thank you.